the screen recording's up and going. Here is Crexy.com. Awesome. How to use Crexy. If you're looking to buy a building for your business, to lease a building for your business, or if you're looking to buy investment properties, it's all thing commercial real estate related. There is one other major competitor. It's called LoopNet.com, and I have another video showing you how to walk through and use that tool. Sometimes the brokers listing those deals or the agents will put those deals just on one and not on the other, and good brokers or agents will put them on both. Okay, so let's dive into my screen. Here is Crexy.com. Do me a favor, okay? If you're gonna watch this, smash the like button. I would really appreciate it and subscribe to the channel because all we talk about here is commercial real estate and let's dive in. If I wanted to find a building for sale, I would click the for sale button and then I'd come here to all filters. This is just what I do, okay? Now you guys know that I'm a self storage investor, but if you're a retail, multifamily, industrial, hospitality, whatever it is, they have all kinds of property on here, okay? So what you can do is you can come through and filter. If I was gonna filter by self storage, I'd just click there. Let's say I wanted multifamily and I wanted to look at, you know, just apartment buildings. I could click apartment buildings. Or if I want to look at just student housing, or if I want to look at just single family, I could come and filter by that. Now, LoopNet has a little bit of some different filtering systems, um, and they're both a little bit unique. And as you can see here, um, they don't have mobile home parks or anything listed here. Mobile home parks is its own. So you kind of got to get familiar with both of these two. What you can cut, what you can do, just like we talked about in the other video, is you can come to self storage and let's say I wanted to look at storage properties between 20,000 feet because anything under 20,000 feet isn't worth it. We don't want to buy too big of properties um, that are going to be competing with bigger, you know, hedge funds or, or huge REITs or anything like that. Right. So we'd come through and we could just type in that and, uh, we could come to see what kind of stage these are, if it's an auction, if it's on market, if they're doing a call for offers. Um, maybe that's a good video that I should do on the difference between on market auction, highest and best and call for offers. This is essentially what stage that the property is in. Um, if it's, you know, just listed for sale, if they're coming down to the highest and best round, et cetera, et cetera, or under contract, contract pending. Okay. So we can come through here, we can search this and we also can search down here the cap rate, which again, I wouldn't use cap rate because I think that the cap rates listed here are trash. They're not accurate. So I wouldn't even bother going those. But you could come through and you say, you know, I don't want to buy anything uh, under a million dollars and I don't want to buy anything over uh, $10 million and I only want to look in areas. Let's say I just want to look in Alabama, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, South Carolina. This is just where I invest, guys. So you type in your own states, North Carolina and Tennessee. So let's come and let's hit show the listings. So... Now it's gonna ask me, we talked about this in the LoopNet deal, how you could do it, but it's gonna ask you, do you wanna save this search and do you wanna be notified in real time, daily, weekly, or never, right? I already got some searches set up, but it'll say this and it'll literally email to you so you don't have to be constantly searching this. It'll email to you exactly when that's gonna happen. I'm not gonna do it because I've got my searches set up, but you could click yes, okay? Now, we went and we looked at the same thing on LoopNet and only had four deals at the same day. Again, we're here and we are in uh, June, 15th of 2022. There are only four deals here on Crexy. It looks like they have 28 deals listed, but as we're going to find out, not all of them are super relevant, right? Because this is uh, auto storage. This is a development project. So anyways, let's kind of go through here. So now all of our listings are going to be here and we could filter through and just kind of take a look at this property. Okay. That doesn't really look like a self storage business right now. Oh, this one looks like a self storage business. Let's click on it and let's see what's going on. So here we've got all the details on the property, how many days on market, the time since it's last updated, a marketing description, which is listed uh, written by the broker here, unique value add opportunity in St. Lucie. Um, we can click, if we wanted more information, we could click to download the OM. Now it's gonna make me agree to all of this and it probably says you can't shoot a YouTube video and show on the other side. So I'm not gonna do it, but I could hit accept here. And what's gonna happen whenever I do that is it's gonna give me more information. By the way, absolutely free in order to do that. Like there's no legal obligation. You don't have to pay in order to download the OM. That's called a confidentiality agreement, which just says that you won't go put our data on the internet or you won't you know, sell this data to somebody else, right? You just have to use it for your purposes only. Well, let's see the flyer here, which I shouldn't be required to download an OM. 
And we're just gonna take a look at the property. So it looks like this property has some self storage. It also has like some um, industrial tenants here, bigger shop type tenants. Facility has 215, two industrial warehouses, three acres of undeveloped land currently for boat and RV storage, healthy business at 99% occupancy. And so we could go through, we could download the OM, we could start to underwrite this property, um, which I have a full video on how to underwrite self storage properties. Just click this link in the top right now and I'll show you exactly how to do that and how I would underwrite this property to see if this is a good investment or not at their asking price of $5 million, okay? So let's say I don't like that one for whatever reason. Uh, maybe I wanna underwrite this deal, which this is, just looks like a, a big self storage, beautiful property, honestly. Um, it's present this acquisition of a piece of luxury, dedicated storing cars, motorcycles, and more. Okay, so it's kind of a toy storage type deal. Um, cool, yeah, so here's a property. They're selling this one. Um, we can see they've got it listed at five cap, uh, 4.62. I wouldn't even pay attention to these. We're gonna do our, we do our own underwriting. This is how I would use this, okay? So I'd come through and I'd just take a look at all the different properties that are listed. Uh, this is, a, they're trying to sell a moving company on here. So sometimes you'll get like kind of spam listings here because this isn't actually a storage property. Somebody's trying to sell a business here and they tag this as a self storage property, even though it's not. They're just trying to get eyeballs on their business for sale and they know a lot of people are on here getting eyeballs. This one was listed on LoopNet. I'm very sure this one was. So this one's listed on both. Great job for the broker here, putting it on both. We have a lot of other lazy brokers here uh, that there were only four properties. So this person did a good job. All these other people were lazy and only posted here. Uh, but anyways, these are all deals that you can underwrite. Sometimes you'll see that there's unpriced call for offers. I wouldn't even bother with those guys because somebody's gonna submit a ridiculous offer that you're not gonna beat. And just to iterate, all of these deals are on market deals. This is what makes it an on market deal. The fact that it's listed on this exchange by a broker. And so you'll find some good deals on here. Maybe you can earn seven, eight percent cash on cash, maybe a 10 to 12, maybe a 15 percent IRR, which is fine and good, but uh, you're not going to find any crazy, crazy good deals on here. Okay. P.S. If you want to buy a piece of real estate, a commercial piece of real estate, or really any piece of real estate, and do a burr on it, you need to achieve at least a 30% IRR by year three. That's how the math works out, right? And so I'm kind of looking like on market deals, unless it's a project like like this one here was honestly kind of interesting um, because it's pretty ran down and it looks like there's some motivation here if I had to guess that the owner um, is probably pretty motivated to sell this. But let's kind of go back here and let's look. I mean, we're diving into self storage here. And again, like we can see there are 28 self storage and on the other loop net video, there are only four. So, you know, good job to the brokers here posting on both. So that is the key to both looking on Crexy and loop net in order to go through and do that. So again, all these are on market deals. I'd prefer to be dealing in off market deals, but if you're wanting to look around at storage properties or anything else, you can do all of that here. You can get a good sense of where the market's at. You can search for off-market properties. Actually, let's just go through and look at um, some different creative ways that we could do this. Let's say that we wanted to look at multifamily properties and we cared you know, about our apartment buildings only. We could come here and if we want to do this in any city, any state, whatever we want to do, let's do that. And let's search for a keyword. Let's search for uh, bank owned, okay? So I'm gonna go to bank owned and let's get rid of all my square footage requirements here. Let's get rid of everything else and see if there's any bank owned properties that we could look at. So here we go. It says that there are two bank owned properties in the US. Let's view nationwide listings. It's interesting, it's showing us two, but it's only got one here. Um, let's take a look at this one. So this is potentially a bank owned property, a uh, multi-use property, a tavern, with a bar, a tavern with a building and a one bedroom apartment and an adjacent property that's a duplex, uh, bank owned and price to sell. Okay, so we could look through this. This is a bank owned property, which means it's been foreclosed on. The bank owns it, they're trying to get rid of it. The bank is not in a real estate business. They are definitely gonna be looking to get rid of this deal here, but it has been listed for a while. So maybe there's more than, than meets the eye, but you could come through and you could search for anything. If we want to search for uh, bank owned, if we want to search for, um, whoops, if we want to search for value add deals, we could do that. 
Uh, let's find value add apartment buildings through the entire US. And then one cool thing you can do is like, you know, you can just zoom in and it'll just show you properties that are kind of in your map area. So it was at 626. Now there's 191 being shown here. So if you just kind of wanted to uh, go around you know, a certain area you could do it. You could also draw a radius. Like if I live in Atlanta and I wanted to search, you know, for a uh, hundred miles around me, then I could do that. And let's look at all the properties that meet that criteria. And so I could click on these, right? And I could come in, I can look at this and I could also dive into these specific brokers by clicking on them and seeing what all deals they have listed to find out if their broker doing a lot of deals. Uh, or if there's somebody who doesn't do many deals at all, which that broker was doing a lot of deals, which is great for them. Um, but we could see unpriced, guys, I wouldn't even mess with unpriced deals. I would look at deals that have a price point on them. I wouldn't pay attention to cap rates. Um, you, again, you could come through and just look at all these deals. So that's how I use Crexy. Uh, to come through and find on-market deals. Again, on-market deals is not where we wanna be focusing. Off-market deals is the key to getting really great deals inside of the real estate world. But the value of having this is staying in touch with the market, meeting and contacting brokers in case you ever did wanna sell a deal. You could be in contact with somebody who you know that you could understand the more specifics of potentially having them list a property for you. Uh, and, but really, most importantly, building relationships with those brokers in a way that will allow you to eventually get their pocket listings, which are off-market deals the brokers have that they don't end up going and putting on the market. Because every deal that we've seen here, guarantee you the brokers looked at the deal, they talked to the owner, okay, how much do you want? And if they knew somebody who would buy that deal for the price that the, the seller wanted, they're not gonna go through the work. Like, let's look at my screen here. Think about how much work it requires to come through, take professional photos, write out listings, uh, put together an offering memorandum here. Like think about the work that's required to do all of this just to get it listed. If they could say, you know, call me up, uh, let's say that Sean knew me, right? Hey Hayden, man, I've got this deal in uh, Forest Park. It's, uh, it's 108 units and I know the seller only wants, let's say it was 8 million, right? Let's say it was a great deal. The owner wants 8 million. I'm just gonna be like, yeah, man, $8 million, that sounds great. Uh, you know, when can I see the property, right? Versus if they know, okay, 12.3, that's pretty high. I don't know anybody who's gonna just steal this property, take it at a great deal. Um, we're gonna have to do the work of listing this property. And so building a relationship with Sean may down the road lead me to getting uh, those pocket listings, but I have to first contact him and kind of work through these deals. So that's how you use Crexy. If you like this video, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. And again, if you wanna check out how to use LoopNet, which is Crexy's competitor, click the video right here and I'll see you in that one.